Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about dialog flow. One of the main concept is intent and what are the different intents or uh, types of intent we have. Okay. To understand uh, first of all the concept of the meaning of the intent. Okay. So when we are discussing with each other, right? If the two person are interacting with each other, right? So when they some, say something uh, in the known language to the other person, right? Uh, what they understood from it and how they explain. So let's say if I am asking a third person or the next person, uh, what is the weather today, right? So if that person have the information about it, it can respond back like, yeah, today's weather is very sunny or very cold or like 32 degrees Celsius, something like that, right? So same thing if you want to teach to the bot, right? So how we will do that? So, okay. Uh, so we will try to uh, teach a bot uh, to uh, understand when I'm asking what is the weather today, right? So let's give a name, something called weather. Oh. Weather. Context for now, uh, leave it. Uh, we will discuss those things in coming phases. But we do want our training phases, right? So we, what we will add is uh, what is the today right that is what again ask i can ask also i don't require this uh, what i can ask uh, how is the weather right now i can add more phrases over here uh, but uh, what i will do is also i will use something called chat gpt if you are not aware uh, so i will tell chat gpt to generate training phrases phrase at least 10 for uh how is weather okay so let's see if chat GPT gives us the training phrases which I can directly copy. Okay, so it has given me what's the weather like today so that I can add. So it is like similar to what uh, 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 like the different ways a particular person can ask for weather, right? So what we will do, we will add those phrases. So what Google says is to have a good intent, right? Or good uh, uh, training mechanism or machine learning for its uh, natural language processing, right? Uh, it recommends us to add at least 10 phrases or more than that. Uh, if it is not possible, then obviously uh, it is a different case, but uh, uh, are we expecting strong? Okay. Okay, so these are the things that I have added and once I ask to the other person, right? Other person responds something. Uh, so that is handled over here by the response. So when I ask to the chatbot, so I, I can say that like, uh, today's weather is awesome. Is 32 other uh, say degree says yes degree how to put a degree sign is it impossible no 32 degrees Celsius okay so let's click save okay so what we did over here in the intent we created a name for the intent okay what we did also is added few training phrases okay uh, if you see some yellows over here, these are system build entities that we will cover in next topic. And also we gave some response. Okay, these are all hard coded. Okay, so once the training is done, uh, if I ask uh, how is weather yesterday? Okay, now if you notice over here, uh, how is the weather? Okay, and I have written something different, but not for today, for the yesterday. Okay, now it has detected the intent. The intent name is weather. This is this one. 
and it has given me the response that it was uh, 32 degrees Celsius. And if I click on diagnostic info, it will also tell me what is the confidence level. So it is around 72% confidence. Okay. Uh, so because this phrase is not there, right? But it has able to understand it. Okay. It is related to this uh, weather intent. Okay. So this is the like how we create intent and what is the intent. What are the other intents that we have is first is default welcome intent. So this is configured with hi, hello and all this thing. So if I type hi, right? So it will give me something like good day. What do I can do for you? So if you come over here, you will see that uh, it has plays which one good day this one, right? And it has already hi, hello, hello there means like how you greet in a telephone call, right? So that is also there. And there is something called fallback, right? So what do you have a fallback? So if I type something like garbage, okay, so it says that I didn't get it, right? So there is no match scenario. So it is not matched with any of the intent and hence it is triggered the fallback. And it has so many text response. And if you go to its diagnostic info, you will see that uh it is a no match directly there is no confidence level uh query sentiment blah 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 okay it's already triggered the default nothing was related to any of the uh what do you say the intent that we have so it has triggered the fallback now one more uh intent is there uh that is we call follow-up intent okay now what is the follow-up intent let's say if I uh, okay, so what are the follow up intent? Uh, there are like custom fallback, yes, no, later, uh, cancel, more, next, previous, repeat, and blah blah blah. So let's say if I ask uh, what is the weather for Pune, right? So then I can have a one follow up in uh, uh, question, right, over there. Uh, so you want to ask whether about Pune so I can say yes and no based on the confirmation right so that is like converting this intent in fallback into yes and no so this uh, yes and no intent or uh, what do you say uh, what do we term the fallback uh, not the fallback uh, follow-up questions right you can all use this uh, which are already been created if you don't want to use your own so what happens is if you want to ask the follow-up question after this only directly, then you can use. Otherwise, there is a something called term as context. Uh, if I show you over here, so you can use context to control the journey. Like after whether you want to ask for which location, and then you can ask the next question like uh, you want in. Uh, 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 Celsius or in Fahrenheit. So all those question if you want to ask to the user and you want to have like in the sequence, uh, then you can use the context. And that is what exactly this follow up uh, intent does. I will recommend to use only till one level, not to go like once you ask for if user say, so you ask so you are user ask uh, what is the weather today uh, you ask the question uh, instead of you ask the question something like uh, do you want to uh, know the weather about the pune okay so sorry so user says uh, what you can say what is the weather for pune so you ask the follow up question as do you want to know the weather for the pune so you can add one yes or no okay for then stop it over there. Don't do that after that. Uh, once you just say yes, do you want to add, uh, like, do you want to know in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Don't do that over here. Instead, use the context and keep it in the over here. Because if you keep going inside, then it's get a little bit tricky. Uh, I know this little last part is a little bit, uh, what do you say, confusing. Uh, I was not able to. Uh, explain clearly but you still if you have still doubt do ask me in the comment section uh, <laughs> uh, this will make me understand that how many of you are watching the video till this point uh, thank you have a nice day